So DNA is something that we all have and DNA is personable to just you. There's no two copies of DNA. You just have your own DNA and the person next to you has their own set of DNA. So DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid and it is basically the map to our bodies and it tells you everything you need to know about yourself and yourself only. So it tells you how you're gonna look, what sex you're gonna be when you're born, um, what illnesses you're available to and which ones you're not. And basically it's just a map of your life and how you're gonna grow. So where does your DNA come from? Your DNA comes from your mom and your dad. So when your mom and your dad conceive you, automatically you have two sets of DNA. You have your mom's DNA and your dad's DNA. And eventually they will all mix and will make you a baby, as a baby. And you'll grow up and you'll have your own set of chromosomes, which contain DNA, and you'll grow up and be your own person. So what contains DNA and how would you get a DNA sample? So your DNA can be found in anything that has touched your body, such as a piece of clothing or a towel or, you know, paper towel, a tissue, anything that's touched your body or anything that's on your person, such as, you know, your hair, your saliva, your urine, um, your toenails, fingernails, skin tissue, anything that's on your person contains your DNA and they can get a sample from that. So, how would you match a DNA, especially when it comes to criminal investigations? How do they do that? So first you need a sample of DNA in order to match to another sample. So what they would do is either get a DNA sample from a victim, a possible suspect, or a piece of clothing or a piece of evidence. And once they get that piece of evidence, they will take it to a lab and test it and once it's tested and all finished, you will get a DNA profiling card, which will look like this. So once you get this card, the investigators and the people who specialize in this will read it and compare this DNA card, or not this DNA card, but the DNA card you get to the DNA card from the previous sample and decide whether or not they match. Um, and if you don't have a previous DNA card to match it to, one way the police can find how to find out where the criminal is, is through DNA databases. So you have your local DNA databases, your statewide DNA databases, and for repeat criminals and violent offenders, you have your national DNA databases. And Funny enough, one of the most recent ways that police will find a match of DNA is these genealogy websites like Ancestry.com or 23andMe where people are voluntarily giving up their DNA to find out what nationality they are, but that way the police can also search on there to find a DNA match. So how has this actually helped with the criminal justice system? So over a thousands and thousands of criminals have been brought to justice through DNA samples and DNA evidence. So DNA evidence cannot be a sole reason this person's convicted, but it is a very, very important part of a case that can lead to a conviction. So once they get that, they can use the DNA sample in order to get the conviction. Um, also, identifying victims has been a big thing with DNA and how they can, if someone's maimed so bad, they can figure out who it is or even help figure out who a missing person is. And it really helps with that. And another way also is cold cases have been cracked because of DNA. And most recently and most popular right now is the Golden State Killer who has killed over dozens of people who have raped 50 people and have had 120 burglaries and he was actively doing these crimes from the 70s to the 80s but he just got arrested last year because of DNA sampling they found through a sample they detained from him from the trash and then through genealogy websites and databases they have found him and he matches the DNA so he was just arrested last year and is awaiting trial um, but that's how they help with the criminal justice system and 
also they have exonerated people and have set them free from jail um, because of the criminal justice system using DNA sampling. So like I said, DNA sampling is individual to you and your person and it does not copy. So, and that has helped the criminal justice system with identifying people and victims and criminals and bringing them to justice.